This is the team that I used at the Charlotte Regional Championships. It did pretty good. There was, um, I was just really tired that weekend. I went right from Twitch Rivals right to the event. Really, really tired. Uh, I got to 4-0, and uh, I didn't get a lunch break, and I kind of just didn't want to play anymore. But it went 4-0. Like, it was a good team. I got killed it. Um, it's a fun team. So we're going to play some games with today and see how it does on the ladder. Lily Cole. Okay. Lily Cole can be a weird matchup because it's harder to use the Cyclozar. But against, like, Lily Cole, things like Garg are sometimes good. Lily Cole changes things up a lot. I also think, like, a thing you can just do against Lily Cole is just, like, lead Dozo and be like, bruh. <laughs> Hello there. How goes it? How goes it? I think I'm going to lead the Cyclozar Dozo, though. Huh. So Cyclozar Dozo, really good. I bring that Tatsu in the back. Do we want Flutter or Bundle here? Flutter can get sucker punched if I don't Terra. Flutter's better, though. Yep. Garg's sometimes really fun, too. I'll just go Flutter. I think Flutter's a standard way to look at it. Let's see what we do. Again, these games are just for fun. Just want to play a few games with my uh, Charlotte. I'm always going to call it Knoxville, since they're both in the same, like, general area of the country. They were, like, one month after each other. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I called Charlotte, like, Knoxville four times in Charlotte. Another thing I found for the first time at Charlotte was they have those banners that have, like, different Pokemon, like, Executor or Wooloo or stuff like that. I found Garchomp once. I've been all over the country going to these tournaments. Apparently, all these things were just at Charlotte the whole time. Cyclozard Dozo, though. Oh, my gosh. From the bottom to the top, now we hear never stop. Let's see. What do we want to do against this? I'm just going to go Shed Tail. I will say that if we didn't, if we knew the item on that flutter, we could just Iron Tail Oko it. Because it's an Oko against like standard flutter. Um, it's an Oko like 80% of the time. So Shed Tail's up. And we're just going to pop that EQ EQ baby. And then next turn we'll deal with the Drake Tusk. Cool. Here we go. Shed Tail. So they're like, what is so fast? And that's because it's Choice Scarfed. Choice Scarfed off a of base 120 speed. Gonna go right into that Tatsu, and we're gonna bring out a Sash Tatsu with a sub up in front of it, bro. We're gonna live forever. And then, even if they go for like, I'm, I'm EQing, right? I'm not gonna be able to break my own sub because Tatsu is safe inside the sub, inside the dome. So look at that, just ate the sub. You just ate the sub, bro. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want here. I'm probably fine. I'd hate to see Protect just because I wanna go fast. I wanna this game to be over quick, you know? Let's see what they got. Survey says, CC baby, that's fast, that's Scarfed. You're El Scarfo, you're not supposed to be that fast. It's fast on the Flutter main. Okay. Deegly, okay. Yeah, super Tatsu. I basically turned Tatsu into a Mimikyu. It's nice. Oh my goodness, so much damage. All right, we're gonna go for a Protect. There's no Encore user on the team, right? So they couldn't go for like a Read my protect, switch in an Encore user. Dragonite gets Encore, but we're faster. And they might they might switch in Dragonite. And yeah, just protect, right? I could probably get away with Oh! Oh, look at this guy! Look at this guy. Oh, they wanna go for that big damage. Okay. They're, they're, that's a weird mon to terrestrialize, right? Am I wrong? What are you gonna do? It's that big dazzling gleam, right? They're gonna they're probably just gonna move blast, right? But that's another eight. Hey, I'm happy I, I did this. So at the worst case scenario, once it crit happens, we should be able to soak both these damages with the um with Dozo, and then what'll happen is I'll be able to send out like Cyclozar and go like breaking swipe and finish him off. Wait, Tatsu still has a sub, right? I wonder if I should EQ here. Or if I should just, like, go after the Tusk. Like, if I should just Wave Crash. I think the EQ is still the right play. Order Up would get the KO on the Tusk. I'll EQ. It's I, It covers, like, any sort of weird switches like King Gambit. I really don't want that happening. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. No crits. Awesome. It doesn't do anything, bro. <laughs> you ain't got, bro, you ain't got nothing! 
You're weak. Don't don't crit me though. After all that after all that talk, right? I'm like, bro, don't crit me. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. You know it's not a lot of though. It's not a lot of, not a lot. Cool. And he's gonna have to close combat me one more time, and then whatever mod in the back is gonna be left to break my Tatsu. And the cool thing about this team is like the Tatsu has a sub up. So if you have like a spore user, normally they would want to go like KO the Dozo and then spore the Tatsu, and it doesn't work like that. Lefties came in clutch. Oh, Lefties was the right idea. Uh, Corey ran Life Orb, but Lefties was the right idea. 100%. Lefties is just really, really, really valuable here. Lily Gant. Okay, cool. So we outspeed the Lily Gant unless a Torkoal switches in. And so in this situation, I could go for like a Protect Dozo to get like an extra Lefties tick. Um, but I think I'm just going to let Dozo go down. Because, again, they can't go for that Spore thing. They'd have to Leaf Storm. And this would make it so if they wanted to switch in Torkoal and enable the Lily Gant, we'd still get to get for... We'd, we'd make the Lilligant have to deal with the Dozo, which means we get to send out something that just automatically checks whatever they send out. So this is the right play, I think, to just go for the Earthquake here. And let's go! I started using the Obnoxious Torkoal team. Yeah! It's good! It's good! That team's really good. I'm happy to hear you're having a good time with it. Do you have any tips on how to approach upcoming Ruin Legends meta and T-Wielding? That's the sub goal today! If we hit the sub goal, they went for the Sleep Powder, right? They didn't know it was sub. Did I talk about that? Didn't I say that? that's the reason why we did it? It's like... Whew, they, they, went for, they went for Sleep Powder, right? They did it. Value! Did you manage to get some rest? I did! Is it not showing my chat? Chat hasn't been on all day. Oh my gosh, chat's... Why don't you guys tell me chat's not turned on? Test. Is this working? There we go. Chat wasn't turned on the whole time. Alright, um... The Willy Gantz... We can go Flutter here. No, wait, they're faster than us, right? Does that thing get faster than us? I'll just go for Psychozard, it's all right. Because now we get to do something else that's cool. All right, so let's think about what we actually need to do here. But yeah, I might just got a little bit of sleep. But yeah, we're, the sub goal today is I make a goal telling you guys everything you need to know about the start of Regulation 3. Yeah, Tatsu's good. All right, so let's think about what I want to do here. I don't see an issue with Icy Winding, to be completely honest. It'll KO the Tusk. I outspeed your Tusk, actually. Like, the right play... I'm, I think that this is the right play. And I like this, actually, as well. In case they want to go protect Lilligant, like, hit my Cyclozar. Tatsu's, I could I could have also just shed tailed again, by the way. I just want you to know, I could have just shed tailed again. No reason to do that. I don't think those I, I think it's a lot. I don't mind locking myself into uh ice though. Yeah, there's a protect, they're gonna be close combating here. Um into the cycles are right. So again, I think this is a fine play. Cause Tatsu's like still really, really like really big right now. Yep, CC block, baby! Oh! And then next turn, we just double into that Lily Gant slot. If they want to go for an after your eruption. Um, Lily Gant at plus one doesn't outspeed Flutter, does it? It's hard to say, really. Yeah, we would just... Yeah, so what we would do is... We would probably just go another Ice Wing, because we want to get to minus two, and then we would just bring up Flutter. Right? Because are we even going to be able to get that? Psychozar is probably going to die this turn. I don't like the Muddy Water play as much. I think the Ice Wind play is the right one. I think the double into that slot is good. Imagine, though, if I just went for that second Shed Tail. That would have been so savage. Yeah, after Eruption's fine. That's your right. You're right. Flutter Wild Speed. It's almost like you played the game. It's your round one opponent. Oh, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah, we had such a cool game. They were using a really, really cool sand. What is it? Soft Sand Garchomp EQ Discharge Team. That was so sick. I loved it. Like, they messed... The, the, the calcs on that thing messed me up because they ain't no one calcs for that. Hope you had a good tournament. Icy win. Who do we miss on? No! Really, bro? Oh my gosh, we just missed all the way we can, bro. That sucks. That was That's probably going to be just game right there. Probably just lost because of an icy wood. So there's two things that happen here. Um, Tatsu's sub is gone, of course. 
would hit the ice when the game would be over. Because you just walk up the Lily Gant. Um, you would go like a Muddy Water plus walk up in the Lily Gant. So the only thing they can do here... They have to hit a Sleep Powder. Right? I have to do the exact same thing. You jinxed it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> hey, if they read the Sleep Powder play, I lose, right? Someone dropping the sub after you. Okay, cool. They're just going for eruption. That's fine. We take those. You were my favorite match all day. I choked in the later rounds, but I still had fun. Happy to hear you still had a good time. Yeah, I, I think our match was probably my favorite of the day, too. I felt we were just both had, like, good um, energy, too. It was a lot of fun. Yo, thank you. Thank you for the sub, though. Appreciate it. First sub back from Shroud. We take those. The icy wind does connect. The icy wind connects. And the way to punish this, I would say, is just nuke the Torkoal because it's specs. Right? So you just go with, like... Um, I mean, Muddy Water plus that is fine. We can even double protect here to start waiting out the sun. We went three turns left with that. So I think I will double protect, just do it this turn. And then if the Ligand protects, then we just do the little again. And then Muddy Water and we win. I don't think anyone has a sub over there. Wait, no, we don't want to double protect. I almost did the thing that loses me the game. I've done that a lot with this team, awkwardly enough. Let's see. Um... Lily Gant wants to go Sleep Powder, and I mean, Torkoal can't protect, so I mean, you can just Muddy Water. Or at the very, you know what, we just nuke it like this, it's fine. Yeah, we just nuke the Torkoal. The Torkoal specs, it specs damage, guys. Cool. Awesome. But I'm happy to hear you had a good time. I'm happy to hear you had fun. Yeah, we take those wins still. <laughs> but yeah, the Ice Wind missed, man. <laughs> it makes it too hard to play. They had to go for that one turn. They had to go for a Sleep Powder read on my Tatsu and just ignore my Lily. But we'll take the wins. And that's what we like to see. All right. Bam. Wins up. Team sick. It works. And then you don't technically even need Psychozar in that matchup. And you would just go with, like, Flutter there instead. So you'd weed something like that. Or even something like this. I actually don't mind that. Dude, they, Psychozar should be able to go in Dozo. <laughs> yeah. First, second, cool. That's a cool team. Hmm. Let's see what they get done. What is see? Seeing is believing. I'm a lot taller. Yeah, I'm tall. I'm a tall guy. I am not small, I am tall. Alright, in this situation, I think you just salt cure the Amoongus and protect. But, like, we don't have to protect, but, like, I don't mind protecting. And then if you want to go, like, if you want to go some sort of weird trick room, go nuts, you know. I'll take a Salt here. Like, Garg just kind of sits first this board anyways. You're usually not supposed to Salt Cure Moonguses, but, like, I think we're okay doing it. That board would have just auto-lost a Cyclozar so hard. Alright, so no Rage Powder. So they're probably going... Are they actually Sporing and Trick Rooming? It's so greedy. They're not in, like, any real danger, but, like, they were. Wow. And then you're going to Trick Room, right? And do it again. Okay. So there's the Trick Room. I'm not 6'4". I'm, like, 6'1". I think you can just Salt Cure the Far Draft now. And let Tatsu take the nap. You can also double swap and bring out, like, Dozo on the left and Tatsu on the right to make it so they don't even get put, like, get scored. But I think this is fine. I wonder if they're covered uh, cloak on the uh, far draft. Tatsu go to sleep, though. It's very not usable in this matchup. I'm gonna have to try and spore my Garg. <laughs> don't do that. They have to switch out the Amoongus soon. They have to switch out the Amoongus like after this turn realistically, which means we'll get a couple of ticks of the um, dot 
get the ore generator up and then we'll probably be fine. Yep. So here, let's see if you got the, uh, let's see what you got over there on the far giraffe. Would they read me and go for the uh, spore into my guard slot? Because, like, I obviously have to switch in Dozer there if I want to make use of Tatsu at all. <laughs> Big nap time. Uh, probably since MySpace. Let's see. It'd be a good play for them to do that spore. It's a good play. In fact, I'm surprised they're not switching out the Dozo. Or switching out the uh, Moongus. Uh, they have to be doing that then. Right? There's no reason why you wouldn't do that. You know? So we'll let them put us to sleep. And then we'll probably steal Terra to stop a clear smog. And then we'll try and wait at the TR and be fine. Good play. Good play. There's absolutely nothing wrong with how they did that. They take a lot of damage doing this from, like, uh, Chip from the Salt Cure, but I think it's alright. Hyper Wish is cool, too. Just because it hits, it hits both in case something weird happens. Throat Spray activates that up, too. Hey, not, not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna Steel Terra, though. Just so we don't go Clear Smog, that's, like, the main reason why you have this. And, like, what do they have that really threatens? They have hands, right? But I'm not that afraid of hands. Like, I, I am afraid, but, like... I, mean, I, I trade pretty well, and then I, I still have Flutter in the back, and if you have to go Grass Terra, like, you're going to be messed up, so. I can't wake up this turn, but we don't want to get Clear Smogged. That's the reason why you do this. That was a great play from them. That was really good. Yeah, and I wouldn't have gained anything by swapping out Totsy for Dozo either. Like, wouldn't have gained anything out of that, really. Which are the Amoongus for hands, right? Yep. He's busy. So again, I cannot wake up this turn, and I wasted my Terra now. So they don't even have Core Smog. That's why I said, like, this team is made for open team sheet. Because, like, we needed to know if they have Pollen Puffer Core Smog. But it is what it is. Because if they had the Core Smog, there'd be an auto loss, basically. Psychic's not that much damage. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> so we're asleep here. No Terra's yet. I wonder which damage Drain Punch even does. They're probably gonna switch the thing up for Amoongus relatively soon. Last turn Trick Room. It's actually better to try and wake up and go EQ, EQ. Like EQ catch the Amoongus and then finish it off or EQ into the hands before it can, like before they decide to grasp Terra. So it's, it's better to actually be able to double tap it like that than to just go for Protect, I would say. If I wake up, right? Because we can catch the Moongus coming on the swap. It's really good. They're sh they shouldn't be faking it either. They're just going to be probably... Like, if they have Belly Drum, they'll do it. But, like... I would say, realistically, like... A hard switch to a Moongus and a Belly Drum would be sick. Stomping Tantrum, eh? Go nuts. Psychic's not going to do a ton. Alright. And wake up. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that's lucky though. And then now, see, you see how pin they are now? Not that pin, but like very mucho's pinned, right? If our draft ticks out, hands is gonna be threatened next turn. And yeah, they could send the Amoongus back out, but like, eh, I'm okay. I'm okay with these series of events. We're gonna eventually lose the Dozo, but the Dozo is not actually the win condition for this team. It basically just unlocks all the other teams. Like now that hands is within range for like literally anything from, um, from Flutter, basically. Flutter just comes out. Deagling probably takes out from there. And we'll see if they have to force a Terra. You know, we, we do have to force a Terra there. There's the Among Us. We have Drain Punch, too. So, like, we do want to go for... I'm going to protect for one turn, because I don't think there was a reason not to. And they're going to Drain Punch us, right? 
So maybe there are, are arguments saying don't protect because they restore less with Drain Punch, but like, we'll see how this goes. I just want to see the Terra. I want to see also if they're like clicking Spore. Like, what if they did a protect? Yo, dropping the sub! Appreciate it! Three months in advance! Yo, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hope we're having a good time. Hope we got back safe. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So nice. So kind. There's a tantrum. Yeah. And is he going tantrum spore? So that's no rage powder. That's like... What if I just what if I just clicked, like, wave crash? You know what I mean? So that's... I don't know how I feel about that one. I think I might... If they're not even going to drain punch, I'll just EQ again and put you within range for flutter, right? You still have Garg in the back, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine at Earthquake here. Yeah, now you Rage Powder, right? That was really, really risky why they didn't just do that last turn. Uh, I'm just going to crit. Crit. Crit, please. Never lucky. Okay, so in this exact situation, Tatsu's completely... Oh, they actually, yeah, they didn't even go Drain Punch. We got it. Hmm. What are they going to bring in? It's completely fine to just Earthquake again, because anything they bring in would take massive damage from the EQ. So you could bring a Bundle or uh, Roaring Moon or Arcanine, but it would just take, they would take way too much damage. And you you would normally protect her, but they're probably going to swap. Okay, no swaps, so cool. Hands is gone. They're going to be able to get a Spore, but that's their Terra down. And the Amoongus can no longer switch for a generator, so, like, it's basically gone. And we just got a Garg there, but last month, I think. It's basically the win condition is going to be Garg here. Yeah, no Pollen Puff. Uh-uh, not today, buddy. I give you all the time in the world to do that sort of stuff. I don't even know how they didn't just click Spore twice. Or, like, do anything. <laughs> Bundle. Cool. Yeah, just with Keeper Quaking. And that's another reason why we also didn't want to weave in those Protects. Is like, let's say we weaved in Protect and they pivoted in the bundle, got the Regenerative proc, and then they'd be able to Encore Lock us. Like, we didn't want that. We just wanted to be able to, like, this is the damage that we deal. Catch me if you can. You can Protect a uh, bundle and go for a Spore, but then I kill your, uh... We have to Freeze me. You have to Freeze me with the Freeze Dry. That's where we're at. You can Crit Hydro, or you can Freeze Freeze Dry me. Hydro, he's going for the Crit Hydro! Oh my god, he got it! Are you fucking real, bro? Oh my god, really? Really though? Really, huh? Wow. What a fucking guy. And the spore. <laughs> How many of those crit hydras you got back there, buddy? We're gonna find out. Alright, we kill Amoongus with the gleam here though. I would be surprised to see like um I would not be surprised to see like protect bundle spore, which is why we're just gonna do it like this. The crit hydra. Hey, we called it. We called their only win condition. It was right there. Crit right through those boosts. Icy win. We saw it speed the among us though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Donzo! Cool. And then we just win. Hopefully, right? Someone's gotta wake up. Somebody's got to do it. The right play is to protect Flutter and try and make up Tatsu. That way, we have two mons that'll be targeting next turn, and they can't do Hydra on both at the same time. So just protect here, try and wake up Tatsu. And if you want to go with an Icy one here, that's fine, because the next turn is just Flutter and Garg, and we win. That's right. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Well, they're thinking about it. Yeah, no reason to not protect the Flutter. It's too old to sub to. Like, yep. Oh, yeah. Charlotte was good. We had a good time. Never lucky Tatsu. But Tatsu probably wakes up next turn, then. So we're probably okay still. We don't need to show the other moves. They can Encore loop us right now. Tatsu should still wake up, though. And then I think we're still fine. Hydro misses? Oh, we got it. What team I bring? I brought this one. This team is a lot of fun. Yo, Ronan, thank you so much for the subs, my man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Three months in advance. I definitely put that to work. 
Let me take those wins. I don't hate that lead, as weird as it sounds. It's not like a great, amazing Omega lead, but I think it's a decent one. You can also get away with this. But I feel like those two are a slow loss. We're still gonna try it. I think that these are the, this is the part of the matchup that needs to be experimented with a little bit more. Yeah, Ape's cool. Ape's cool, we're gonna see if we see it, right? We outspeed it with Cyclozar. Part of me wanted to bring Flutter in the back and bring No Dozo and like pivot out the Gargarnical for... Okay, good, this is fine. Cause we could pivot out into a ghost type and then got the Gargo behind the sub. We actually still can do that. I think I ran into one, one ape at the regional. All right, so what I like to do versus this team is you just spin turn one and then you win. That's gonna be a weakness policy on the armor rouge. No, it's not. If it is like big sad. Sash broken, breaking, 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 breaking all those sashes. Taking away the terrain. Expanding force. Ha! Ah, look at this. Look how weak you are, bro. Oh shit, I lied. You're not. You're strong. You're confident. You're probably twisted spoon. And that's a salt cure. You get a salt cure. And you get a salt cure. And you get a salt cure. And we stay taking those. So the entity has to swap here. That's why we target it like this. Because they want to reset their terrain, right? And they want to bring it back into the one expanding force. So what you do is you swap out here. Bring this guy in here and you salt cure the thing that comes in. It's gonna be Torkoal. Could be Bonnet as well. They're on the same team. Oh, wow. Hmm. This guy's big thinking. He's like, I've never had to deal with this before. Another reason why you do it that way is because like they've spread themselves so thin on that turn one by not going redirection trick room. Like I would have liked to have still had a full health Cyclozar, but you know, because we would have soaked damage this turn. Oh, they're staying in. Works for me. Next turn we just double target that same slot because they're gonna go Gleam. No, it's nothing. I I like you all. That's so much damage. That guy's like I ain't ever even heard of Psychic Terrain, bro. <laughs> Dude, that did that has to be spoons. It's either spoons or specs, right? It's actually making me think it might be specs. Like by how much damage that's doing? That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Alright, so the two options for us here are Trickerman's how many turns? Three. Protect Doza for one turn. And salt cure the entity slot again. Because you know they want to bring back out. And then next turn we do this thing. Uh, power up doesn't KO bundle though. That's the thing. It just doesn't KO bundle. It has to KO bundle. Otherwise it's like just not viable in my opinion. If it can't KO the bundle. Like that's why we have Iron Tail for the... I Iron Tail like three flutter mains at the um, at the regional too. It was sick. You fighting just a random person on the ladder. So Entity ticks out next turn, and we underspeed Entity, so we can just go into that slot. Oh, Grass Terra? Nah, you gotta Ghost Terra, otherwise the team doesn't work. So Entity ticks out next turn, but we can actually just hit it before then, and just take it off the board. I think we can fodder the Cyclosaur. Save our Cyclosaur? It's not worth it. So then we just send out the Dozo back again and we're good to go. I can't believe that any just never swapped. No, like, no swaps. He's like, this is fine. And next turn we're going to speed the Armourage too, so that's why we're fine here. So they'll KO that and it's good. Yep. So next turn we just hit that slot and we're good. Future Toxapex. Iron Maiden. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. 
Is it target locked? No, it's not target locked. It could be targeting whatever it wants, but Garg's a rock type. You know, it's like we're super, super all right here. You can solar beam my Garg, and I don't think that matters that much. Protect here. Last turn of TR. We could even double protect, but I think realistically we just take out the armory while we can, and then we soak the solar beam and then bring out the Tatsu in the game. It goes just really good for uh for Psychosar. It also like clashes with the, like its weaknesses. It's normally weak against like fighting and it resists ghosts or it nullifies ghosts, and then if you ghost terror it, it's you know, same thing. We should have the run, thank you. Yeah, I, I like I like the situation a lot. Let's go with the protective next extra lefties tick. You have to like crit solar beam into our dozo here. And no. No. Yeah, no, no two I. At least this guy respects the Dozo correctly. Like, there's like four or five times I could have pivoted in Tatsu and just won the game, and they've respected them all every time, which means I think that's them playing to the routes. You know? Gives those of the respect it deserves. And now Trick Room's done zoed. And, uh, let's see what they bring out. We should just be able to go hard switch out Garg and do something stupid. Like, EQ up. Iron Hands. Okay. I see you. Who is better to hit with Garg? That's an actual good question. I feel like you actually hit the Torkoal. No, the right play is just like EQ. It's a lot of damage, and you can do it twice. It's, it's standard. And if you, even if you take out the Dozo this turn, I think that that should be fine. Because Dozo would soak the damage from both. You can't Oko my Dozo here with, like, a Thunder Punch here. I'm, I'm going to say that you don't. And then all we need to do is, like, get some chip damage on Torkoal, and then just Poison Terra and move all the hands. Especially if we, like, chunk this Earthquake. So, like, their plan here would be Fake Out Eruption, and that shouldn't KO us. Unless, even with a crit, it shouldn't. And they already showed Flamethrower, so, like, maybe they... I'm assuming charcoal, right? Well, let's see what they do. EQ? Oh my goodness. So that's just value. That's just big value. Like, that's just the weakest eruption ever now. T-Punch is fine. Doesn't get the KO. You might KO with this. Oh, I didn't Terra. See, like, they, at least they're respecting the Dozo in every situation. They're respecting every possible good Dozo play that could be made. <laughs> Maybe they're a Dozo player. Maybe they know. And, uh, they just do it again, right? Yeah. You can go Grass Terror or something weird. I think it's fine. We still have the Tatsu in the back, so we're good. Even if we low roll this Earthquake into the hands, I think it's fine. They'd have to protect Torque, which they definitely can, because they look to be Charcoal. So we're probably not KOing hands this turn. I wonder if they're, like, flying. They're probably just Grass. Yep. They are flying! Wow, look at this guy! Hey, it's the flying hands! I didn't do that last turn. And protect Torkoal. I get nothing out of this, bro. But I get to unlock my Tatsu and my Garg. And so is just gonna come in and probably seal up the Torkoal slot, Poison Terra Garg, so I'll cure the hands and just win the game. Good stuff, though. Like, we talked about it. We talked about flying Terra hands! Good stuff. And again, there's no reason for us to protect there and try and get lefties ticks. It doesn't really help. And then in this situation, we immediately can punish those Torkoal protects. Yeah, we just go, um, sorry, just go Garg. I just think it's so funny that all the iron Pokemon aren't steel type, you know? <laughs> all right, Salt here there, and this should kill the Torkoal. Sorry, we needed to, uh, I almost messed that one up. Terastalize, please, into that poison. So they have to go for a double protect Torkoal. Um, and even if they do get the double, they can't Oko the Tatsu. So like Tatsu should be able to seal up Torkoal in every single situation. Big Garg. They went for the eight, and they made the right play. Like you see, I mean, like, this person's played like literally every turn I think about as good as you could have played it. I just didn't let them play the game at the tempo they wanted. You know what I mean? They tried to get the end of the Armouche up and they actually made the right plays by not pivoting and just staying in with the Mons and trying to win before Trickham was over. And I just played the game really, really patiently. 
We should be able to wall the hands out. You can drain punch the Tatsu or something, or like drain punch the Garg, but like I have the exact check, you know? Yeah. So a lot of damage. That's a shit ton of damage, if I'm being completely 100% honest. Wow. Hmm. That's a lot. Alright, we just want to keep on doing the same thing. I don't think there's an issue with just, like, Dragon Pulsing here. And if you want to go after the Garg this turn, like, this makes so if you want to, like, stomp and cantrip my Garg, it makes you have to hit Tatsu for at least one more turn. So we should be able to win with just Salt Cured. I don't want to get crit by Stomping Tantrum, you know? Looks like it's a really, really strong hand, so... Being able to just one-shot a Tatsu like that, that's not... That's not normal. So let's see what they want to do. I don't like losing crits. Yeah, I don't think there's a situation here where Double Protect is right either. I know it seems like, wait, just Double Protect it. It's like, yeah, I don't want stuff happening. And, like, I don't think that they're actually vested, which, like... It looks they they weren't vested. I think they had... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that looked to me like a black belt. Because, like, if, you shouldn't be able to Oko Tatsu with, like, a neutral base 75 move. GG's. Oh, it's you! Oh, dude, are you black belt? What item is on your hands? Or are you just a full attack adamant? Booster. Oh, it was booster? Alright, see, I had the same idea. I wasn't paying attention when it came out booster, but like then, same idea. I was like, there's a multiplier there somewhere, you know? There's a, there's a multiplier. Hey, thanks for the game. Let's try it. The signups again? For the, no, there's there's a singles tournament that we're gonna be doing and a metronome tournament. Those are both different. Singles hoods have been fun, yeah. I'm Like I said, I'm hosting a tournament this Friday, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope it's a mistake. Malmo after three minutes sold out. No, they... That doesn't seem... That seems about right. All right, what is this? Bundle and Saber Ledge. Okay. So if it's Booster Bundle, we got... Right, we got a Switch. <laughs> actually, we don't, we don't have to, but wait, we will. We actually don't even have to, though. We could just go Ghost Terra. It's so good. Because, uh, yeah, when you Ghost Terra, the... No, nah, you... Ah, this is such a hard situation. Necronome is the only move allowed. Yeah. Cool. I made the right play. Yep. If I would have Terra, I would have been fine, but... They're, I'm assuming that they are clear amulet on this air ledge. We just wanted to break Sash or do something. Woke up, yeah, so they're clear amulet. Cool. And so now we can still switch the thing out and still get a regenerator proc. No, you, ha you only can use Metronome. That's it. Alright, so that's... That guy's sad. Alright, so let's think about what we want to do here. That thing's going to have to switch, and we're going to switch. I switched the Dozo one. I mean, this is a little bit greedy, but like... No, it's fine. I can solve the Tatsu in there. Twenty seconds. Let's try this. Ugh, this is whole. This is so bad. Yeah, I know there. I know that thing's switching. So that's why I know I can get away with this. But like, ugh. there's the Amoongus. Okay, so we're basically just losing now because we didn't get a chance to put the clear, or the salt up on there. Ah. Let's see what they go off to. I want to see if they go after the uh, cycles are slot. Let's see how this works. I want to see if they protect. They shouldn't. They don't have to. But let's see if they do. 
Bitter Blade in the top two slot. Cool, cool. They fucking went for Bitter Blade into a normal type. They knew I was switching. See, the issue with this is this will force a Terra. And probably like a Spore Rage Part. I mean, I'm just gonna go for the Protect first turn. I don't really care. Because I wanna see if they protect and try and go Protect Spore. I'm gonna I'm not gonna let you protect Spore me. You I, I'm gonna get off my damn earthquake. Ally switch spore. Wow. 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 No mix-up this time, huh? I'm unaware of your bulk up, buddy. Yep. And you can spore again. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's like the first time I've seen Alice Switch use this gen. I oh, had the clear smog! Why didn't you just do that last turn, bro? Dude, no, why didn't you just do that last turn? Oh, whatever. Again, like, open close team sheet. Okay, we the the whole point of this though was to like low key get the um uh the bundle off the board. You can bring bundle back out or this guy back out. We should be fine versus that thing with Garg. If I'm being completely completely honest. D dance. Oh, dude, they're just gonna eat it. They're gonna go for spore here, right? I still have unaware, that's the thing. It's like, I still have unaware. Okay. You can Christmas me again. That's we have to be asleep. So like one more of these order ups and that, that thing's gone. Yeah, Alice, which is a, it's a weird one. Are you gonna glaive rush me? Alright, there's the Terra. Dragon Terra! Holy crap! This is gonna do a lot. It's just the Dragon Terra plus the glaive rush. It's gonna do like. I'm, I'm probably like almost dead. Yeah. And he's gonna Pollen Puff here, right? That's fine. That's fine. So let's actually think about what the what the play is here. The play here is to if we do wake up, we wake up before the backs does, and the play would be to high roll the backs with an order up if they were trying to pollen puff side pollen puff. Yeah, that that's just the play. If they wanted to like dragon ants and set up again, we're gonna have to get our tots put aside. There's no protect way that would have been able to get out of that. They probably don't have the Pollen Puff because they have Clear Smug. Alright, there's the Spore, and that's that's okay. I think we're going to be potentially doing stuff. Potentially gaming. Let's see. Have to go Garg. Garg probably dies to this Glade Rush, right? Am I wrong? Let's see. Tatsu has to be asleep this turn. It's a good play. Oh, they actually, they went after the Tatsu. That's such a crazy play too. Oh my God. It's not wrong. I feel that like they still should go after the guard. I feel like Rage Powder go after guards. It's not better or worse. I feel like you could have probably even got away with a spore there. In the guard slot, I feel like you could have double dipped the guard slot with a spore. Because guard would have had to force a switch or something like that. Like if I would have been going for like a bait or something. What is the play here then? Yeah, they probably got us. We outspeed them here, but like maybe if this crits... That was a cool play. I think that was cool. Um, it is what it is. This team, like like I said, our team is 100,000% made for open team sheet. 100,000% made for open team sheet. And we're fighting against like...
clear smog ally switch guy, you know? Can't really deal with that. There are there were arguments to be made for going breaking swipe there too, but I think that like we're probably just gonna lose this one, I think. Maybe if they come out and like miss something. That's actually not that bad that that went that way. I wanna force them to hydro because I can just straight miss. Doesn't matter if we have to tear out. Like, we'll save it to force a hydro. Like, hydro. Ugh, oh, rage powder again, A. Eh? Good play. I'm trying to think, like, if they had, like, anything, if maybe they would thought about switching it to save. This is just does. This is probably just Oko's us. You never know. Dude, that is so much damage. I wonder what the item was. They ever showed the item, right? And it wasn't the clear amulet, because that was on the. Uh, the it was probably loaded dice, obviously. But, like. Ugh. That was a crazy game. I mean, if that's the case, Guard is a good lead in a Murkrow. And then you want to lead something that splits the Garchomp's, like, attention to where, like, you can't do both. So, like, something like this is probably okay. This might lose to Rotom. We just go Protect, Sulky. Yeah, I like that lead. And then you bring this. And Loki, you do bring the Cyclozar in the mid-game. Mid-game Cyclozar is great here. And being able to... We, we know the item on the Gyarados or the Garchomp, but if they're... Um, clear amulet on it either, obviously that's good for Cyclosar, but if they're not, like, Breaking Swipe just goes hard into those slots. So let's see. Murko Glimora! Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not terrible for me, but, like, we'll see how this goes. I'm actually gonna Poison Terra my Garg, and probably... We don't need to Poison Terror just yet. Actually, we don't even have to Poison Terror. We can actually just let our Mons get, like, super poisoned, I think, and probably just be good. I'll hit the Murkrow. I want to see if they have Cloak. I want to see if they're Covert Cloak. There's a Tailwind, and that's totally, totally fine. And the next turn, we're probably just going to pivot out the bundle or just, like, double into the Gomorrah slot with, like, a Hydro. So they didn't show Grass Terror there either, which is the standard way to play that thing. All right, so let's see Cover Cloak. Survey says... Nope. Awesome. So I think we have to... We, ha we have to Terra, I think. And there actually is a chance that we outspeed this Gomorrah still. Not that one. Salt here, there. Don't die there. Just got to hit a Hydro. If they wanted a Sucker Punch plus the Power Gem, they'd get it in the bundle, I think. Let's do a Brelum team. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. So the whole point of this was to force out the Murkrow to make it so they're playing more passive. Yeah, I think we're fine here. If we outspeed that Glamora, we just win, you know? I think Brelum's better in singles. I'd rather, I'd probably rather use a Boop on it in this format if I were to even use it, but it's hard to say. This power gem might not even KO us, which would be sick. Hydro, because we solid speed. Are you vested? Ooh, okay. So it's gone. Right, it is actually gone. And we are not, because we're thick. Our bundle is not like a full speed bundle set. It's a really weird set. So that thing's gone. They got the layer of spikes up, that's fine. Um, but all they have in the back is probably, like, Garchomp and Rotom, and, like, we can lo very low-key, like, not deal with that. Yeah, Shroud was good. Shroud was good. We had a good time. How's it going? It's going flawless. There's the Chomp. All right, so where, who are we hitting with the Cure? It's better to actually hit the Garchomp, I think, but, like, I want to go after the Rotom. I know, I, you know how badly I want to click? There's a Murko back again. Cool, cool. This is good. So, like, you could EQ here. Ground tear. Wow, he woke up and hated me today. And then next time we just go wide guard. Wide guard, freeze dry or something. Yep, ground tear. I don't think they KO our guard here, though. They might. I mean, they might.
Let's see. If they have a damn, if they're like orbed, I think we might die. What do you guys think? If we don't get O code, I think we are in a good spot. Yeah. They are orbed. Wow. I think that might be a low roll. Adam and Web probably would have got it for sure. So Mercury's not going to be able to reapply that Tailwind, right? And if you can't reapply the Tailwind, right, there's how many turns left on this? Last turn Tailwind, so we need to Icy Wind this turn then. I don't have to. It's definitely the right play, though. Pivot out Mercury. He's really trying to reapply that Tailwind, bro. He wants it bad. He wants it down bad. See the Glafter. EQ blocked, boys! And then we get a second, like, turn of being a humongous bully. We might even just go for, like, a recover. Because now Tailwind's done. So much damage to the Chomp. Hmm. I think we protect bundle and just try to I don't hate protect bundle. I actually am gonna salt here the Rotom and just protect my bundle. Sorry, did I protect I said I meant protect bundle once yeah, salt here rotom. I think it's just a fine play, because like we're actually fodder in the guard at this point, because right now they don't speed control. So like we actually want them to always have these two mons on the board, especially the guard chomp at minus one. And they, they can swap out guard chomp, but then they're letting themselves get salt cured, right? And yeah, I, I think this is fine. And if you want to go EQ and take out my guard, like you totally can. Like there's no see what I mean? There's no reason to go after guard chomp, obviously. They're totally I, I think they're volt switching my bundle or thunderbolt. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's that works. And so now we just bring out Flutter, and that should just be game. Like, absolutely game. Because now your Garchomp can't protect. This is a good time to go Cycles R2. Flutter should be fine. I think we should be able to get away with Freeze Dry into the Rotom, plus a Dazzling Gleam. They have to go for a double protect Garchomp, right? Maybe? Let's see if this is the right play. This is a hard one. This is a really, real hard one. Because I don't know... Alright, I got an idea. If this kills the Garchomp, right now we just win straight up. It doesn't KO Garchomp, that's so bad, but watch what happens. We're gonna try our best to pop this Rotom, which I don't think we can. Ah, uh, should've just freeze drowed it. Alright, are you Citrus or Vest? That's the thing, because I still actually am trying to set up a situation where we still win. Earthquake's gonna hit both. Both my mons are dead. They're going to take out from Bifor, bring out that Murkrow, who's really low, and we're just going to bring out Psyxar and go... And they're not buried, so we should still win, right? So I think I think that we still just win. And that was the flow chart. It sucks that we low-rolled our Ice to win, but... Rotom should be going down to the Psyxar, and Murkrow should be able to go down to the Psyxar too. So Psyxar in the back, they're probably thinking, like, yes, I got it. And it's like, no, you don't got it. There's also two icy ones on the Rotom, by the way. It was really, really important. And we're going to come in Poison, so we can't go, like, get Protect Burned. So we should be able to get it. I think this is fine. And the reason why I wanted to do it like that, like, let's say I freeze-dried the Garchomp, and I went for, like, a, uh, what is it, a Moonblast into the Rotom. Like, they could have just went for a Temple Protect, and we could have, like, lost our bundle there, and we probably could have lost us the game. I think that Psychozar should be able to clean this one out. They're probably thinking they're at enough health to not die. And I'll tell you, I stabbed this move. The breaking swipe. Cyclozar AoE baby from the back. And they're thinking, I could just Tailwind. Oh, dude, not like this, bro. You're at minus two, unless you're Covert Cloaked. And I'm already, like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeet. Oh, my goodness. Cyclozar. Cyclozar bust. Look at that damage. 
That's what we like to see, dude. Psychos are good. Psychos are busted. Backs. Am I going to any more regionals? Probably not. Let's see. Backs into the armor. Alright, so the backs made things really, really hard. And spore on the um bonnet makes things weird so like against into the armor rouge like i like opening up like psychos are guard but it's really really passive so that's why they go for that expanding force turn one so like against a board like this i kind of want to try flutter like flutter and so you can degleam out the bonnet you can degleam out the hands and you can degleam out the backs or force terras and then there's like another mon that like big says like don't you don't you dare try and go into the trick room against me bro psychos are because I need to take away their expanding force. You know, this... Do we still even want Dozo? That's the thing. I don't think that we want Dozo. I don't think we're going to need it. We'll see. No Dozo? What is this? What is this Dozo team that doesn't know how to Dozo? The world may never know, though. Now we'll see. I think Garg is good here, though. Garg's a pretty good Pokemon. And let's see if they want to leave Bonnet. Hands, Armor Rouge. Okay. It's a, it's a great lead for me, right? This is like a really good looking lead for me, I would say. I don't think there's a problem with that. I don't think there's a problem with either of those. If you want to protect your armor rouge and like drain punch or thunder punch, I have to take that L. Fresno regionals. Yeah, I'll definitely be like in Fresno, but I don't know if I'll play. You know, like I live like an hour away. So I really like this board a lot with like the icicle, uh, the ice spinner. Because like if you wanted to go like grass terror to lose your weaknesses there, like you still, you gain one, you know? So like we'll see how this works. Hopefully I'm not weak armoring them. But yeah, Fresno regionals are going to be a lot of fun. Fake out. They actually went for the fake out turn one. Wow. Well, that just sucks, you know? It just sucks to see it when that happens. It's a lot of damage, though. Wow, it's a lot of damage. Trick room up. Still, this is really lame. Um, I could have, I guess I could have went Terra, but like, eh, you know what I mean? Eh, it's 50-50s for there. If I would have seen if they what they had, I would have played that a little bit differently, I think. But I can protect that. There's no reason to protect here. We'll just let that guy go down, bring a Garg, and then go Wide Garg. Wide Garg. Yeah. Border main just relaxing. Bolt switch blocked. Ooh, not bad. They're trying to bring that NED, and I'm like, no! You gotta hard switch that if you want that boost, boys. If you expand force another... Okay, they hit the right target, but did you KO? Damn. Were you orbed? We're gonna see right now. Alright, cool. That works for me. So we underspeed this guy and can just go straight up into Assault Cure into it. And Moonblast the hands. He's like, yes, I will use Vote Switch and it will work right now. Work on these. Hopefully I kill with Salt Cure, right? I got I got four points in attack, boys. I'm not afraid to use it. Let's go. Bruh! That damage. <laughs> Let's see if they're Volt Switching. Oh my god, something's taking big big damage this turn. Someone woke up and decided to take the big damage. I'll see it. That's gonna be big damage. You got a, how many, um, how many psychic seeds do you have? You got a bunch of them? All right, you're gonna need them. They're gonna wanna bring out their hands back and then like, we still have Terra. That's the reason why I think we're still really fine is we still have Terra if we need it. That's a lot. How long will the next format last? Three whole months. It's a long time, right? That's just a long time. Okay. These two plus bundle. Trick Room has two turns in it. And 
At worst, they might have gold Dango. I feel like if they had the pawn, they would have brought it out. And I feel like they would have had... I feel like that had to be this thing. All right, so that means that Rio Scooby can just protect here and go for, like, a... I am going to terrestrialize Salk here. I want to get this going on the Entity right now. Yeah, we have three months of this, and then I don't know how it's going to be, what it's going to be for Worlds at all. <sighs> Sombra, how's it going? Let's see, big guard! I want to see if they read this and start psyching up, like, doubling into the guard. They, they can read the protect and go after the guard if they want. Salt here goes up. Yeah. Finishing up, finishing touches for Fort Wayne. Good luck. Yeah, Fort Wayne's going to be crazy. Wild charging with the flutter. Yeah, that's right. They're trying to catch those dozo switch-ins. And I'm like, no, thank you, bro. You can psych this guy. It does, a hey, but capitalizing on the fact that we terrored, right? It's a lot, but we got the citrus. And so now we can just play super passive, I think. If we want. If we choose to do so. Last turn, TR. I don't actually think there's a problem with foddering your bundle here. Foddering bundle and like salt curing the hands. You can double one of the you can double one of the bundle or the uh what is it the guard slot and get it off the board but then I have like a really really good board in the late game and if you want to just go after the bundle go after the bundle you know no matter what happens we have a board that finishes off the entity so they can't get tricked back up again okay so attacks are going in what's the order of operations here wild charge cool hey it's absolutely fine it's a ton of chip like an absolute like ton of chip damage there. And they did Terra already, so their hands are going to come out and get melted out here. Don't crit me, bro. Don't do it. It's a lot. It's not a crit, though. Favorite Bruimon. I probably like Shen Pao the most, but it's hard to say. All right, so we should be able to get this with um, Dazzling Gleam. That's the idea. Life Orb Dazzling Gleam should be able to get it. And then we should be able to recover that turn and be able to wallet whatever they have in the back. Hopefully this kills the Cindy. That looks like a full HP spit up into D. Because it ate my Moonblast like a literal champion out here. I don't think we need to attack. Pivot out that thing? Cool. So anything pivoting it. So if this is Bonnet, this is Bax. That's Bonnet, right? Bonnet some of these, boys. D Gleam, please. Oh my goodness, the damage. OMG, baby! And that's game. There's still like one or two turns left of uh, Terrain 2, right? So like they should. I don't think they can sucker punch me. Lefties. That's unique. And he's like, this guy's like, where is the Dozo? <laughs> You're supposed to bring Dozo. Don't you know that one? All right. They're gonna try to fake out. Watch, they're just gonna do. Watch, they're just gonna. They're they're like way focused in on this. They're gonna like fake out, sucker punch me, right? I will see. Maybe the hands has like Roselli Berry or something. Say, I told it, dude. I felt it. I, I literally felt it. I'm like, why are they even doing this? Yeah, and then it doesn't matter what happens to the hands, um, cause, yeah. They could have went Protect with the Bonnet, but I still think we had it. Yeah, because the way this would have worked is even if you protected the Bonnet and I get the Salt here there, and you take out my Flutter, you would have lost your hands at the end of this turn, right? And then I would just uh, go for the same play into your Bonnet and win the game. Because Bonnet, like, can't fight uh, Garg at all. So it was game, no matter what. Let me take those. Take those all the way to the bank. You don't always need to bring Dozo to win, though. Oh, I know what team this is. That is Howl Screamtail with Mirror Herb Salamence. I 
wonder if mirror works if I have a sub up. no idea how that would work. Do you guys know if that would work? We're not going to try it, but I'm 90% sure that's Mirror of Salamence. That's like what a lot of people have been using to check uh, Doza recently. So we'll just give him a taste of uh, whatever this is. Alright. Glimura. I want to, I really just want to like, I'm an ice spinner. Yeah, Nidhi Bale's not bad. I wonder what the Glamora's plan here is. Cause like Glamora actually can't fight Garg. You can do that all day. I'm not dead. I'm not terastalizing either. Ow! Ow! I did a lot. That's specs. I think they should switch that thing out. They should switch it out. It's salt cured. It's terrain's gone. They can save it for later. See if I like force a poison tear or something. Like there's so many good reasons to switch that entity up. Shit. I mean, oh god. Oh god. Why does that do so much? All right. Thank God for hitting the guard. Oh, guys, that's so much damage right now. Cause so much damage right now, guys are all so strong and big. Ain't got no time for that. All right, Sludge Bomb, Psychics. d Gleam will take out the Indidy and Chunkle more, but then I lose my Flutter. But then I can get up a Salt here into that slot and be like big chillin' for the, like, the remainder of the game. Like I finish off the Indidy Chunkle more, And if you don't take out my, um, oh, we crit the end of the wrong one. If you don't crit, sorry, if you don't take out the flutter, I get to keep it, you know? So you definitely should go after the flutter, right? Earth Bomb, oh, it's good for me. Oh God, why is that thing such a freaking beast? That Glamora has to be like, is it? I'm not gonna lie, like, there's, there's no modifier, but it's modest, right? It has to be like a modest, so like a full special attack. It can't be Expert Belt, because it was doing that much with uh, Sludge Bomb, right? So I wonder what move they have that lets them be not afraid of Flutter there. Dude, they should give... They should give a Garnacle over Generator. Dude, I can't even say that without laughing. Alright, what, what, what comes out here? Sally, there it is. Okay, it's gonna be Steel Terra Sally, and that's fine. Because if I go D-Gleam here... These guys are okay. I want to recover here, but I don't think they'll let me get away with that. Oh shit, no Terra. Scarf Sally then? Yeah. Dude, I'm a, I'm a god. That was such a good play for my guard then. Hey, that's fine with me. What would I do in that situation other than just like die, you know? So your Scarf here. You got all the toxic you'd ever want, but you're scarfed, right? So... 
so you're telling me there's a chance. Right? <laughs> you see what I mean? Because I just, I just, uh, I go wide guard forever now. And you're moxie, but like, it's definitely wide guard time. What do they have in the back? God, what else was on their team? The right play is Cyclozar. 93. Doubles to 180. We're still, we're still at, at four, right? Or this would double to 186. Huh. Yeah, we go to Cyclozar. is the right play. It comes in and gets poisoned, but then we still get, we get one shed tail off with this. And we just go white guard. Hands! Oh, who are you fake outing, bro? That's the, you, you have to fake out the Cyclozar, right? Because, unless he has Flying Terra. Play. It's just the play. Let's go. Bro, he has to be flying Terra though. Otherwise, he's just the saddest little guy. Oh, not like this. Not like this, boys. We'll see. We'll see. I got shots. Don't don't think I don't. I got a bundle in the back. Show me that fake out in the cycles. Are. Show it to me. Uh oh, we can fake out. All right. Well, that's bad. Well, that's that's just real bad. That's probably really really bad. like I'm gonna be able to get in, but then like I'm dead. <laughs> Can't they didn't fake out, bro. So the big EQ and the poison through the sub, which is dumb. It's so dumb. Yep. Guard holds. It doesn't spa pass stat changes, no. Alright, so let's see what they're even going after. You have to get my Garg off the board eventually. Yeah, okay. Alright, so starting now, the church of the Salamence ending my life is here. We have to get the hands off the board in one turn, basically. We can do that. And this. I think you double into Sally in case you need it. Because Bundle's faster than Flutter. Actually, let me check my speed stats. Just to make sure. Yep. Just making sure. Yeah, so we double into the Sally just in case we have to. Because we're going to get redirected. Okay. That's good. And then we get an Icicle Spinner into this guy. And you could hit one of them. Okay. It's, it's decent damage. It, it's an honest, it's honest work. Hey man, this is still a really close game. This is a real close game still. The fact that I'm like toxic is making me not a happy camper. Psychozar is not a happy camper. So it's like, I think our best shot is going to be to go protect Icicle Spinner into like freeze dry Icicle Spinner. And if you want to, if you want to read me, let me think about this. With this way, I get to go Icicle Spinner... The right play is actually to like freeze dry and use this icicle spinner. Ah, I need to go protect. If 
you protect here and icicle spinner here like at least you get the one icicle spinner right the other way guarantees two but you risk losing the game that turn Right, we win. Yep. Because I was like, if they had wild charge and they wild charge a Cyclosar, the recoil that they would have would probably give it to me. But like, I think this is gonna get it. Even if they're vested, I still think this might get it. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard to say. Cyclosar is also just poisoned normally, right? Or it might be toxic. No, it's toxic, right? This should get it though. Because I get two spinners off. Of, well, we'll see. We'll see. That should get it. Come on. Let's go, Cycles R! Come on. Oh, dude, it's so good. Dude, Cycles R is just so good. Who needs Dozo? Huh? Who needs Dozo? Not me. I don't need Dozo. All I need Cycles R. And we stay taking those wins. 250 in the world. Ain't got nothing.